Hey, this is Tim Mitchell with Wolferhound, and for the last two and a half years I've been tumble polishing some rocks. And uh, clean out is a big thing. You have to empty this barrel out, and it's really messy, and uh, it's a little bit of trouble. So I used to do it out in the yard, I would just do it right on the ground and <clears throat> clean out everything there and lose everything, but. Uh, I built a sink just for cleaning out these barrels, uh, rock tumbling barrels. Uh, I have two barrels. They're from a, a lower tone QT66 uh, tumbler. As they, it's one tumbler and two barrels. And I made a sink just for cleaning these out. <clears throat> the uh, There's a, a sink right here that uh, Drains. It's uh, actually uh, drains down into a uh, a tub right here, coming out of the uh, the spout here. Drains into the tub and out of the tub and into a uh, five gallon bucket. And uh, it uh, what what this does is uh, the uh, the uh, the first. Uh, tank is a settlement tank it uh, recovers any leftover grit so I don't lose anything anything this that comes out into the bucket uh, is trash and is mainly just a powder so uh, <clears throat> uh, it also does a uh, bead recovery uh, the plastic beads used uh, in uh, the uh, Keep, to keep the rocks from uh, injuring themselves and uh, producing bad results. So I'm going to clean out these two barrels here and show you just how easy this sink is. I have a uh, just a regular uh, spray hose uh, to uh, do most of the work for me. It goes to the goes to the house, and uh, so that's the water source. Uh, so uh, let me uh, try to set this up here where we can. Uh, where you can see what's going on and uh, the first barrel should be uh, stage one <clears throat> and no it's not uh, for, uh, this barrel is stage two So uh, in this case, I'm uh, taking the uh, metal strainer, the small strainer, and I'm placing it uh, underneath the dra drain for the sink so it catches all the beads for me. Got water in your face. So uh, underneath what's happening is uh, the beads are going through the, uh, the large holes in the colander and then going out the drain and they're getting caught by the uh, second strainer uh, before the, uh, uh, and then uh, anything, any rock bits and uh, Leftover grit is recovered inside of the uh, 
the settlement tank. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna save those those beads. Will stay for a future uh, 120. Uh, 120 grit stage two tumbles. I got to wash the rest of this stuff down the drain to uh, recover it. I'm pretty sure I got all the beads out of here. It's looking pretty good. So, uh, sorry, I live next to a four lane highway. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, this is gonna go uh, get washed before it becomes a stage uh, three tumble. So I'm gonna set these aside and wash them later. And I'll wash these beads later, but they'll still still be uh, tied to uh, a, uh, actually this is a 600, uh, 600 ton. This is looking kind of cool right here. Okay, so, uh, uh, so let's go ahead and wash this out. Cover the last of the beads. And uh, we will go ahead and do, this will be a stage one tumble. Uh, this is, happens to be a countertop material. Should be a nice thick slurry. Look at that. Man, that's some thick stuff right there now. That's a, that means some fast grinding there. So anyway, let's just dump all this in here. And this time I'm not using the strainer. There's no reason. This is a stage one tumble. I'm going to uh, pretty much reuse everything. I'm going to, uh, it's going to save all this uh, grit and rock pieces that are left over. This uh, countertop material breaks up pretty good. So it ends up being lots of little pieces. And it's cleaning that off pretty good. bottom here. Okay. And so you can see this. See that thing's draining out of the sink. Under the settlement tank. Into the bucket, and so what I do with the, uh, so what I do with the uh, the uh, settlement tank is uh, I pour most of the water off, and I let it sit out in the sun, and it'll dry it completely out in a couple of days, and then I'll bust all that uh, slurry out of there, 
that dried slurry and reuse it in my future stage one tumbles. So I'm not losing anything. Here's a here's some of that recovered slurry. This is a some of that dried slurry uh, that I reuse in my stage one tumbles. I usually put uh, half a cup of this and a half a cup of grit in one of those uh, six pound barrels. So here's a kind of what's being washed down the sink here. Uh, I have some very large grit. It's a, let's call it grit pebbles. And uh, I, that's what ends up being washed out mainly here. This stuff will last forever and it uh, acts as smalls, uh, the small stones to help uh, grind in the cracks and crevices. Uh, so just wash all that right down the sink. And uh, I'll get the rest of that later. And so that's all being captured before it gets out to so be reused. And uh, so there's actually some very large uh, of these uh, these are granules. These are, these are uh, grit, uh, sick silicon oxide uh, rocks, basically. And uh, they came in a, a load of uh, ungraded uh, silicon oxide uh, made for the uh, steel smelting industry as I understand it. So all of that will get just dumped right back in. So uh, basically I'm going to uh, go through these uh, stage one rocks here and pick out the ones that will pass and they're all looking pretty good. And uh, before I go ahead and reload this uh, barrel as another stage one tumble again. <coughs> So uh, that's how quick and easy it is. Uh, no fuss, no muss. Uh, just a very little cleanup. I'm just going to take these couple of barrels in there and uh, reload the, the grits. That uh, well, We're going to wash them first and then reload the grits. So that's how, that's how I do it real quick and easy, hopefully. And uh, this kind of old rig here is uh, I built it right after I started tumbling a couple of years ago. So. It's not level and it's been painted a couple of times and the sun's got it and uh, it's uh, just about ate up. So I'm going to run over and cut this water off and uh, reload these tumblers and uh, we'll get some results here in the very near future. Thanks for watching. Uh, oh, and tune into uh, the forum. Uh, I hang around on uh, rocktumblinghobby.com and uh it's a nice forum those guys know what it's what's up so uh get on there if you got any questions about rock tumbling and that you'll get the answers you need so thanks for watching uh maybe you could accidentally uh, hit the like button and uh, maybe even subscribe to us and uh it'll be fun we got a, di all, a different subject every day pretty much thanks for watching we'll see you guys on the next trip thanks bye